How are we doing today? Well, this is called a microphone. Whenever you figure that out, we'll give you a point. How does that sound? Ella! How are you? Good. Good. You, I, I understand you studied up for the test today. Yes. All right, good. Make some noise for Ella, guys. Yeah! Obvious favorite. The Uta Piper. How are you doing? Doing good. Good, cool. All right, well, so uh, what does the Uta Piper mean? Uh, you must be new to Portland. <laughs> This isn't over. We're going to start with the real easy question. Oh! Unipiper gets two points for a good insult. Oh! Wow. Okay. It's going to be that kind of a show here on our hands. We're going to start with a real easy question. You guys got buzzers in your hand. Okay? That's how it works. I'm going to ask a real easy one. What is my favorite food? What is my favorite food? Anybody can buzz in? Unipiper. Uh, what is a corned beef sandwich? That is incorrect. Please boo the Unipiper. <laughs> took away your points, too. Go ahead. Uh, what is my favorite food, Ellie? Maybe just buzz the buzzer. Have a guess. I'm, I'm just going to say I have no idea. That's correct. She has no idea. Yeah. She's never met me. She's never met. How could she know what she's never met? Go ahead, Ellie. You got control of the board. Talk into the microphone. Well, you pick a, you pick a category and a number. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do UHF for forty. UHF for forty. This comedic genius plays town talk show teacher Joe Early in Town Talk. Travis. What is Emo Phillips? That is who is Emo Phillips, but that's correct. Yeah, I guess it could be one is Emo Phillips. Go ahead, Travis. You got control of the board. Um, UHF for twenty. UHF for 20. John Paragon, best known for his role as John B. the Genie in Pee Wee's Playhouse, plays this villain. So easy. Mecca Lecca Heim, Mecca Richard Fletcher. All right, go ahead, Travis. You got control. I don't know how. Um, I guess I'll just UHF for 60. In addition to directing and co-writing UHF, Al's manager also played this on-screen role. He likes his steak. Medium rare. All right, we're going to need to switch out some of these contestants. They're not going to do better. We Let's see new Let's Travis. Let's go. Let's new Travis. New Travis. New Travis. And this right here looks like the new Travis. Everybody be home. New Travis. And also, just so she feels a little more comfortable, we're going to bring the little girl's dad up here. Come on up here to help her out. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, there we go. This. Well, I'm going to wait, Phil. On top of our duties, okay. <laughs> All right, we did it. Are you guys ready? Let's get these new contestants going. One, two, three. Let's get new Travis. Yeah. New Travis. New Travis. New Travis. You're the smallest star. You got control of the board. We got Vanna White filming. Pull up double duty up here. So do not even worry about it. Go ahead, new Travis. You got control. Uh, Frank's 2018 for $400. In 2016, I'll replace Kid Cootie as the band leader and co-host of this weekly IMC showing star, star calling Scott Ackerman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. In 2016, I'll replace Kid Cootie on this IMC comedy show. You got a buzzer right there. Go ahead, Travis. What is comedy? Comedy Bang Bang! Oh! Frank 2000 TV for $20. Al stars as a direct descendant of Edward A. Murphy, the namesake of Murphy's Law in this Disney XD series. <laughs> Ella. That is correct! Yeah. Yeah. Go, Ella, go! You got control on the board, Ella! Now hold on, brother, you also have a buzzer in your hand right there. You can use, you don't have to. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna give you a point for just even figuring that out. Way to go, check it out! That's <laughs> work, guys! You, Ella, you got control of the board. Pick something. Just do whatever your dad whispers in your ear. <laughs> for 60. And Skipper Dan Al complains that the hippos have been wiggling their ears the same way for this many years. Um, Hit the buzzer. Ella! Did you. 50 years? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Go ahead. 
In Uncle Nutsy's Clubhouse, George accidentally feeds these to Bobbo the Clown instead of Miss Hockenberger's butter cookies. In Uncle Nutsy's Clubhouse, George accidentally feeds these to Bobbo the Clown instead of Miss Hockenberger's butter cookies. Hold on one second, Denny. Hold on. We're just yelling out dog treats. As if this guy reported to you, show yourself! There's no shouting of the answers! And all turned out a business man! Travis! New Travis, such a great, Travis. great asset. Go ahead, New Travis. Can we question everything for $20? Need a guy who's a master with a blaster, huh? Uh, new Travis. What is the plumber song? That is incorrect. Oh, no. New Travis. Need a guy who's a master with a blaster, huh? Then, then. Need a guy who's a master with a blaster, huh? Oh, that's what you can buzz it again, Travis. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Boo him so hard. <laughs> wow. I'm so handy. And you know who's not handy? Is the... The you No, that's not... The unup... Up, the unupper? <laughs> okay, yeah. Go ahead. You got control, Ella. Talking to the microphone there, young lady. For 80. In 2015, Al performed this classic Star Wars parody alongside Jody T. Piazza, a 13 year old pianist with autism on Comedy Central's Night of Too Many Stars. The Unipiper. What is Yoda? That is correct, it is Yoda! And the Unipiper shows a sign of life for the one time in this game. Unipiper, where have you been? He is the one who knocks. Go ahead, you remember Act like you've been here before. Frank's 2000 is GD for 100. For 100. Al makes lima bean cookie in the shape of this game show host head on the Weird Al Show. <laughs> Unipiper. Uh, who is Alex Trebek? That is incorrect. Boo the Unipiper. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the host of Wheel of Fortune, if that helps anybody. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go ahead, Al. <laughs> Popery for 60. In 1988, Al would take dates to see this movie on the big screen without telling them he was in it. You want a We will accept that answer. It is the naked gun, but I'm sure he did it for you all, Jeff, as well. I'm sure he did it. I know he did it. Go ahead, Al. You got control. I'm here for you. You're for weird. I'll answer. Yeah. Numerology for... Two points for Ella for talking to Mike. Oh! You're so great, Ella. Go ahead. Just pick a category and a number at the same time. Uh, new, numerology for 80 dollars. Numerology for 80. This number appears on the James Bond as thermos inside the briefcase in the animated video for Party in the CIA. Ella. For $40. For 40 This is Al's parody of Moni Moni by Billy Idol. This is Al's parody of Moni Moni by Billy Idol. Unipiper. What is Al? That is correct. It's oh. Al Moni. It's at the top of the fridge. Go ahead, Unipiper. You've got control of the board. Uh, let's do Popery for 80 Al once described this 1988 compilation as 10 of my least annoying songs all on the same disc. <laughs> Travis. What 
Travis. Weird Al's greatest hit. That is correct. It is Weird Al's greatest hit. Go ahead, Travis. You got control of the board. Uh, let's do Frank 2000 TV versus $2. Al plays the voice of Dr. Screwball Jones, an accordion playing supervillain in this animated Disney XD series. Yeah, go ahead, Ellen. Um, wait, what was the Al plays the voice of Dr. Screwball Jones, an accordion playing supervillain in this animated Disney XD series. I'm just gonna say he is a perfect Disney. Wonder over yonder? Oh my gosh, what a guy! You did it again! Naturally, I was doing great. Go ahead, Ellen, you're the Bella of the Bala. <laughs> UHF for 100, the big bucks. This U62 telephone act is interrupted when Stanley arrives back at the station after being rescued. This U62 telephone act is interrupted when Stanley arrives back at the station after being rescued. Does anybody in the audience know the answer? It is, of course, the dancing belly Uncle Sam people. Guys, don't you know anything? Make some noise. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, you got control one more time. Why don't you finish up on one of the categories? Close personal friends. Four. Four dollars. This man plays the coffee achiever in the Dare to Be Stupid video, which he also directed. <laughs> This man plays the coffee achiever in the Dare to Be Stupid video, which he also directed. It is Jay Levy. All right, you never forgot that. Go ahead, Ella, pick another one. Why don't you put try category you've done well at? Numerology? Four. For 20. And now that's what I call polka, the amount of cash Al has in his pocket at the thrift shop. Travis. What is 99 cents? That is incorrect. I got 99 cents, but no time for you, Travis. <laughs> Go ahead. What's $27? That's correct. Make some noise very much. Thanks for the Unipod. For Unipod, watch the trick. Pick something else out. Popery uh, for 100 feet. There it is! Since a great disturbance in the course. <laughs> what is seven? That is correct, it is seven. Make some ass and Travis, guys. That's going to bring us into a very important part of the game, guys. The closing ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, of the 27 categories. One is always selected for the one and only final Jeopardy. That's <laughs> right, Ben Oli. Get over here.
You guys ready? In the extra gory version of the night, Santa went crazy. All of Santa's reindeer are mentioned except these two. Show them the answer, and guys, if you guys don't mind, sing it along. Thank you, music, please. <laughs> markers down, guys! Markers down, music's over. Okay. In the extra gory version of the night Santa went crazy. Show the crowd. Come on, you have no idea how blocking and stage work works. See, they'll help you. They can't see it. In the extra gory version, no, towards them. In the extra gory version of the night Santa went crazy, all of Santa's radiator are mentioned, except for these two. Markers down. Now, hold on, we're going to go down the line here. You wrote it down. You don't need to buzz in. Do it, Travis. Ah, Travis. What did we go with? Travis. Do <laughs> Travis. My dad. I don't know. What's your right? My dad. He wrote his dad. He wagered zero. And that's going to leave him at 36. Do Travis. You blew it. <laughs> Ella. What did we write? The answer is Vixen and Dar. Uh. What did you wager, young lady? Zero. Zero? Okay, so she's 51 points. Thanks so nice, Ella! Yeah. And the Unipiper. What do we have over there? Not contributing all day, except for Donner and Dancer and Prancer. And that's going to take away all of your points. Please boo as hard as you can. This loser. All right, cool. So everybody, if you could uh, stand up behind your podiums right there for your arraignment presentation of awards. Man, I want to put the briefcase down. Come over here. We're going to pass these out, starting with first place. Ladies and gentlemen, in first place, the cutest thing we've ever seen in our life, with 51 points and a positive disposition to the and a future dessert for me now, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! And that's right, Unipiper, you lost. But let me tell you what you did it with. A 20 volume set of the Encyclopedia International. A case of turtle wax and a year supply of Bryce Aroni, the San Francisco tree. But that's not all. You also made yourself look like a jerk in front of millions of people. You brought shame and disgrace into your family name for generations to come. You don't get to come back tomorrow. You don't even get a lousy copy of our home game. You are a complete
take these plaques back, guys, because we only got three. No, 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 don't even worry about it. Because here in a couple of weeks, you're going to get a package about this size from a little man. A little man named Will Hunger! It's going to be your own little plaque with your name engraved right on it and your picture right there. You know, you can. You can hang it up next to that Millennium Falcon you made out of Legos. Or, That's what she said. Or that, that picture of you and Carrot Top from Comic-Con 2007. You know the one. Yeah. And people, people will look up at it and will say, Oh my God. No, that's Is that Ella right there? The Alpha Nerd makes a noise for that! Every single one of you to get on your feet right now because we gotta muster up just a little bit more. You in the back who didn't participate the entire time. You too. Yeah, got my eyes on all of you. Now this most important part, guys, this comes on the count of three. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Yeah!